Let's talk small dogs. Why is it that people that have small dogs, no, you don't have them all, pick the dogs up? So if the dog sees something that worries it, they pick it up and cuddle it and nurture its, its fear. That's the worst thing in the world you should do. You should leave them down, step away from whatever's worrying it and let the dog watch and learn. That's how dogs learn, from watching. Watching and learning. My dog, Tucker, hates being picked up. He puts his little ears back, the flap to his head, he's very like, oh, oh, I'm not keen on this. And I hate, I mean, nobody has, but if anybody tried to pick him up, anybody, Oh, I'd go wild, because why are you picking them up? Just because he's small, doesn't need, he needs picking up. They're tough little dogs. They're very intelligent little dogs. So do your dog a favour if you're on a small dog. Let it learn to cope with the big wide world in its own way. It has to watch things and see things and hear things and feel things to learn. If it's under your armpit or down your cleavage all the time, it's never going to learn a damn thing. Look at mine. He's absolutely fine. He don't like barking dogs. But I don't pick him up and nurture him because he don't like it. I make him sit and listen or watch them. The thing about small dogs I don't like is this. Let me show you. It's okay. Sit. Good boy. Can you see that on his shoulder? Well, yesterday he had a bath and today he's got shit on his shoulder. They love to roll in anything. The smellier the better. So as I lift him out of this bath, you'll see his ears and everything go down. His face, can you see? I don't know what you can see. 